Hi guys and girls and welcome back to Dr. Dave. So today we're going to be talking about how to fix your flight sim boot loop. So as you all know when Microsoft released the new flight sim 2020 there has been some known bugs where you will start to install the game and it will start looping. The files will not get past a certain point. So I spent the best part of a week on and off with a friend of mine called Grant. He installed the game but it wouldn't let him play multiplayer so he uninstalled it from the Microsoft Store and then downloaded it from Steam hoping that that would fix the issue. Whilst trying to install the game, the game then got into the boot loop and it wouldn't install the game. So we've been sending, well I've been sending multiple files across to Grant from my um, content manager and one store files to try and help fix the problem and we managed to get him into the game but the airports and the drop down menu for the for the navigation and the fuel and everything wasn't showing so that meant that all of the files weren't installed properly so what I did is I went into my file system over here and you go to your C drive and then when you're in your C drive if you go up to view over here and then you click the hidden items button then you go to users and then whichever user you are on the on the particular computer that you're using you'll see the app data file will show so you open up the app data file and then you go to local you go down to packages and then you're going to need to find your flight sim and I can't see it for looking right now there we go there it is so then you're going to open that up you're going to go into your local cache file packages again and then official and then you'll see the one store so inside the one store this is all the files that the game content manager installs to allow you to play the game but some of these files were hanging up and boot looping so what i ended up doing is i will drag this to one side and i will open up another window so i will open up my file explorer again I'll put this to one side. So as you can see over here, I went down the C drive and into the one store. So when you download the package I'm going to provide for you in the link in the description below for the Google Drive where you're going to download the zipped version of the one store. This isn't a simple case of deleting all of these out of your one store and dropping the file in. That does not work. We've already tried it. We wasted many hours doing that. So please, if you are going to try this method, do not download the package I'm going to provide for you and then drop it straight into here and override the files that you already have. It does not work. Do not waste your time. So what you are going to do, I've obviously stored the one store zip that I sent to the Google Drive over on my G Drive and I also cloned a copy. So imagine you've already downloaded this and my G Drive is essentially your downloads folder. That's what you're going to imagine basically. So on here, you'll go to your downloads, you will find this and you'll right click and you will uncompress it you'll extract all and then you'll be greeted with this folder in your downloads so what you're going to do is you're going to have this file read these files ready you're going to open your game and when you open your game what you're going to want to do is we'll open up another file explorer quickly and then we'll go to downloads and this image so when you start getting into the boot loop as you can see down here you can see the percentage of the file that is downloading this is just paused just as a reference 
but this is ten this is what tends to happen you'll see the numbers increasing and then it goes back to zero and it will constantly keep doing that that means you're in a installation loop so what you're going to do is you're going to come to here where it says downloading and this one says fs base cgl don't worry about the numbers the numbers are irrelevant at this point so you're going to look for in the file that you downloaded you're going to look for fs base cgl so we're going to hop back across to here so this is your c drive through to the one store this side over here will be your downloads but it's on my g drive that's where it was sent to so what you would do you would come down here and you would look for the fs base clg file you will grab hold of this file and you will bring it over here and you'll drop it onto there and it will ask you if you want to replace it you say yes then you will reopen the game and you'll come back to the content manager and you'll see that this part which is the installation how much of the installation still needs to be done would have dropped down in gigabyte you will then it will say to start the installation you're going to start the installation and you're going to let the content manager carry on installing as many files as it physically can until it boot loops again then when it boot loops again you're going to look down here and you're going to see which folder it needs next you are going to close the game down and you are going to go back to the files that I have provided and you will find the next folder and you will do the same thing. So for instance, I know that the big file package, which is down at the bottom, this PCFS base big files is one of the folders that boot loops. So you would do the same thing. You will grab hold of this one. You will drag this across. You will let it go. It will ask you if you want to replace it. You click yes again. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. I'm not going to replace the files because my game worked fine from day one. And then you will restart the game again and you will let the content manager carry on going again until it gets stuck. Or it might not even get stuck. It might only be, for instance, the big base file and the FS base CGL files that were causing the issue. So you may be able to complete the rest of the installation just fine. But do not, and I mean do not, we've already done it, we've wasted many hours, do not make this all blue by control A and drag all of this over here and dump it there. It will not work. There are certain files that Flight Sim would not let me copy over to allow me to then upload it to the Google Drive for you guys to be able to fix your game. There are certain files that it will not allow me to do that. So there are some files missing from this download, but I already know that this is fixed one game already. I can't guarantee that it will fix every game out there, but I am essentially giving you as many of the installation files as I possibly can. This method must be done by running the game, finding what folder is looping, move that folder over into your C drive one store. By doing what I said, you go to C drive, then you're going to go to view, you're going to go to show hidden files, you're going to go to user, you're going to go to whichever user you are using on that computer, and then you're going to go to app data, you're going to go to local, you're going to go to packages, you're going to go to flight sim, again there we go, flight sim, and then you're going to go to local cache, Packages again, official, one store. 
Like I said, we have already tested multiple methods. I have zipped single files and sent uh, single folders and sent them to Grant. That didn't work. I've zipped all of them. We tried replacing all of them from the download to the C drive one store. That didn't work. Only replace the ones that are boot looping. And this should work. If you don't follow the instructions and it doesn't work, that is because you have not followed what I have told you to do. Like I said, these are all the installation content manager folders and files that I could physically get to the internet for everybody to possibly fix their game. So I hope this helped. And as always, I've been Dr. Dave. You guys have been amazing. Thank you for supporting the channel. Don't forget, we have a Facebook, Dr. Dave Gaming Community. We also have a Discord, which is called Dr. Dave. The links are down below in the description. And also you will find the link to the one store download that you are gonna need to fix the issue in the description as well so hopefully this will fix most people's flight sim problems on the boot loop these files are also needed for versions of flight sim from steam and anywhere else that you need them uh, wherever you can download the game from i got mine from microsoft it worked first time so i haven't had an issue but like i said i've sat down with grant for many nights and days and we finally got his fixed by doing it this way. So the path that I've taken, like I said, C drive user and then app data local packages, flight sim, local cache packages, official, and then one store. If you're a Steam user or you've got the game from any other platform, you might have to go down a different path to find um, your flight sim um, one store but these files are needed for every single platform because these are content manager files so like I said I hope it helps and I've been Dr. Dave you guys have been amazing and we will catch you on the next one hope to see you in the sky everybody bye for now